hello everyone and welcome back to my channel all about alex and if you're new here welcome today's video i'm going to be showing you how i took our old very very old file cabinet and updated it and made it look so much better for the new office so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in please stick around i'd love to have you consider joining our all about alex family and here we go So the first thing I'm doing is taking off the handles and the little nameplate thing that goes on the front. I'm just using my husband's battery operated screwdriver and it just made it a lot easier than having to use a manual screwdriver. So that's what I'm doing here. So now I'm just wiping off some of the dust so that I can get it ready for the next step, which is adding the frames to the fronts of the drawers. So all you have to do is take the frame apart. We're only going to be using the actual frame part, the wooden part. We're not going to use the glass or the uh Sometimes they put that little brown matte part in the back. We're not, we don't need any of those. We just need the frame. And it's so simple. You just glue it to the drawer around where the handle will go. And so I started out trying to use just some super glue and it would not stick it was stuck more to my fingers than it did to the actual drawer so i decided to change my plans and went ahead and prepared the cabinet for the painting process before i started to paint i went over the entire file cabinet with some medium grit sandpaper just to make sure that the surface was uh, scratchy enough to hold on to the paint and we just picked up a very small can of ultra white paint I will have that listed in the description box um, the name of the paint and um, it just went on very, very smooth. It's actually cabinet paint. So I think that's what made it a little bit easier. And I just love the way it turned out. It was a very bright white. It looked very fresh and clean. And it went on very, very smooth. I used a foam roller that I believe we got from Lowe's and a foam sponge that we got that I got from the dollar store that came in a packet of two. So it was two for like a dollar twenty-five. And they both worked very, very well with smoothing on the paint and not leaving any kind of streaks or anything. Now, I didn't bother emptying out the drawers. I took the lazy way out, but it probably would be easier if you were to empty out the drawers. That way you can pull the drawers completely out and kind of maneuver them the way you need to to get the paint on. But I just decided to do it this way and it wasn't too bad, but I recognized that it probably would have been easier had I emptied out the drawers beforehand. Thank you. 
and this paint was very quick drying so I just kept going over it um, layer after layer it probably would have not taken as many layers had I sand it in between I forgot to sand it between the different layers so I had to do several layers but it was okay because in the end I ended up with a very smooth look and it was just like a bright bright white so I really like that And so here you see me just adding the picture frames to the front and I painted those off camera because um, I felt like you had enough of me painting uh, footage but um, I wanted to go ahead and get those put on and I used my glue gun this time and it stuck really really well so I was happy with that. And I just went ahead and placed some heavy boxes on top of the frames just to um, hold them down until they were done drying. And then here's my husband and he's adding back the handles and the little name plates. I did spray paint those. I somehow lost that footage, but I just cleaned them really, really well with a solution of vinegar and dish detergent and water. And I let them soak and then I scrubbed them and then I let them dry. And then I spray painted them with a rose gold colored paint that will kind of go better with the office. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some good tips on how to do this yourself. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please consider um, subscribing and becoming a member of the All About Alex family. We would love to have you. And I just want to say I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day. Bye.